Superheroes are no longer a concern, I'm happy to report. Hello everybody! The release of Marvel's Midnight Suns video game has got me thinking of another turn-based tactics game revolving around the enhanced exploits of superheroes in the form of Spitfire Interactive's capes. So let's slap on our web shooters, snap on our utility belt, and hop into our supermobile on this crusade on the criminally corrupted streets of capes. So I know everyone will be talking about Marvel's Midnight Suns, and I've chosen to talk about a game. A game that doesn't come out until early 2023. And that's just how I do things. <laughs> Although early 2023 will be here before we know it. I do intend to uh, circle back a little later on and speak about, talk a little bit about, Marvel's Midnight Suns. But the focus of this video is, as I said, Spitfire Interactive's Capes. If you are curious, no, it doesn't have anything to do, as far as I know, with the Image comic of the same name from Robert Kirkman and Mark Englert. Yes, that Robert Kirkman that you're thinking of from Invincible and Walking Dead fame. A title which was a more comedic look at superheroics, more of a spoof, I guess you could say. And Capes, the video game, definitely has a darker tone. So as far as I know, no association, no link beyond the name. The premise is pretty interesting. It takes place in a city that has been taken over by supervillains, which to me seems slightly reminiscent of Wanted, the Wanted comic books from years ago. Didn't they warn you who you were up against here? Didn't they tell you what I'm capable of? Although the takeover was a lot on a lot grander scale in those books, as that was a worldwide takeover, and I believe, as far as I know, it's only a citywide takeover in Capes. For some odd reason, it's making me think of Comics Greatest World from Dark Horse from years ago. Seems like there were some themes like that in, in those books. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've read those. <laughs> the supervillains have created entire agencies dedicated to, to either capturing or conscripting superpowered individuals. Basically, if you don't comply, you're confined. And the superhero group in the game is, is essentially an underground organization trying to liberate these superpowered individuals or get to them before, before the supervillain syndicate does. So there's definitely some X-Men vibes going on there, which is very cool. The Capes crew operate out of a base that is very, very reminiscent of a Justice League headquarters kind of command center. A lot of very comic book ideas and tropes being sort of mashed together but in a way I think that works. Unfortunately there is no create a character in this game as far as I know. I imagine there probably wasn't any kind of way to work it in to the storyline and have it work, have it fit. So no uh, DC Universe Online style create a character where your character becomes the focus of the story. There's sort of a core group of heroes to pick from, sort of like Freedom Force, although even in Freedom Force there was a create a character and those create a characters weren't the focus of the story and you could rotate those characters into your into your teams on missions but yeah, they were never the focus of the story. They would be present for cutscenes, but they weren't the focus of those cutscenes. Yeah, so no create a character and there doesn't seem to be the sort of cosmetic editing you could do to your XCOM soldiers or your Phoenix Point soldiers, if you prefer. Doesn't seem to have that kind of capability, but there is a lot of customization in the power sets. So lots of different ways to go with what perks and abilities and things like that you want to assign to your characters and their particular powers. Reminds me a little bit of X-Men Destiny, but like in a good way. I know a lot of people didn't actually like that game. <laughs> I thought it was okay. Uh, reminds me a little bit of that, and it might just be as simple as this guy's rock powers remind me of the rock power set in that X-Men game. There also seems to be the ability to uh, combine powers or chain powers, like you see in a lot of strategy games of this type, but it also reminds me of, you're going to be hearing that a lot. <laughs> You're going to be hearing that a lot in this video about what other superhero games this game reminds me of, but always in a good way but it reminds me sort of the power combining in Ultimate Alliance 2. So yeah, this game looks really cool. I'm loving the XCOM vibe. I think you've picked up on the fact that I, I'm a fan of that type of game. You've probably figured out that I'm a fan of superhero stuff. <laughs> so this is sort of a very appealing title for me, obviously. 
The storyline's cool. The characters are cool. A lot of that XCOM style tactics, destructible environments, all that kind of fun stuff. I just think it's going to be a cool game. Hopefully it will do well. And maybe if it does do well, we'll get a sequel and maybe that sequel will have a creative character. That would be cool. I would enjoy that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to when this comes out. Sin permeates this plane, restoring power to me. Soon I will be free. And you will only Trigon, the terrible. I am the darkness. I am evil. This is a call to arms. The barrier holding Trigon in place is weakening. Trigon must rise to power so that I may take that power from him. You will never get away with this. On your knees, mortals. As I mentioned earlier, I was going to circle back around to talk about Midnight Suns a little bit. So when I first heard about that, an XCOM-style Marvel game, I was very intrigued. I heard the discussions about having to change the gameplay a bit to make it feel more superheroic, to make the characters feel more superheroic. Um, but what we found very quickly is that a lot of things in XCOM mechanically don't make sense for superheroes. I understand that. I get that. Then I started hearing about the card system, and I became a little bit wary. I did not like the sound of that. <laughs> As in, it sounds like the card system, the cards you will be dealt at the beginning of each mission will be randomized, so you can't really count on which abilities you'll have. Maybe I'm reading that wrong or not understanding how that works. But then the more I began to hear about it, um, it does sound like it's workable. It could be interesting to play to play that way and adjust to and, and learn how the system works. So maybe I shouldn't judge that too harshly. This game does feature, and this is a big time selling point for me, I will often try any game if there's a creative character. <laughs> Even if it's a bad game, I might give it a try just to see what the creative character is like. This one seems pretty robust, lots of options, looks pretty cool. Your created character is supposed to be sort of an ancient immortal guardian, magical guardian type character, which sounds cool. Me personally, I will definitely be trying to make like a Doctor Fate. <laughs> Maybe that immortal Atlantean sorcerer from DC Comics, Arion or whatever his name was, that would kind of fit the uh, storyline. But I suppose you can make them whatever magical character you want. Model them after yourself, which I'm sure most people will be doing. Merlin, Harry Potter, whatever. Resurrect your Grey Warden character from Dragon Age. Whatever you can think of. Use your imagination. Go crazy. <laughs> Have fun with it. Referring to the Ultimate Alliance 2, combining of powers, there's a sort of friendship dynamic where as you forge friendships with the Marvel characters in the game, you'll unlock more combined powers and combined attacks and things like that. So that sounds pretty cool. You can also uh, decorate your decorate your headquarters in the game. So that's kind of fun if you like, you're like you into that kind of stuff. That is always kind of enjoyable to, to mess around with. So yeah, that sounds cool. Looks cool. You get to play around in the Marvel Universe and have fun there. That's always a good time, usually. So I am looking forward to that. The only reason I don't have the game already is because I have yet to spring for the latest Xbox or the latest PlayStation console. Uh, those are pretty pricey still. <laughs> so I've yet to dole out the cash on that. And I don't think the Xbox One version has even released yet. And I swear I saw in some article that the release date was December of 2023. So an entire year away. That can't be right, can it? <laughs> I realize they're trying to incentivize people to uh, buy the newer systems, but the newer consoles, that seems a bit unfair to those of us who might be a little reluctant to splash out on the new uh, hardware. I might have to go back and check and see if that release date has been updated, and hopefully it will be coming out sooner for some of the last-gen consoles. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because I would like to play it, but, uh, you know, I hate to spend $70 on a new game plus another $500, $700, whatever it is, for the newer system as well. So, yeah. <laughs> We shall see what my wallet says. But yeah, both games look very cool. 
turn-based tactics involving superheroes and superpowers. I think that's a great idea and a concept you could have a lot of fun with. I'm looking forward to playing both games at some point. As I often ask, what do you guys think? Are you willing to give capes a chance even though Marvel Midnight Suns is available? What are you looking forward to most? What game features are you looking forward to most? What in-game things are you looking forward to most? Let me know if you're so inclined. So yes, uh, in conclusion, Capes, supposed to be released early 2023. There is a YouTuber called Reformist TM. I don't know if it's Reformist trademark or what the TM stands for. <laughs> Not entirely certain, but he's got a, I think a half hour or so playthrough video. If you want to give that a look, I would recommend it. If you want to see a little bit more in depth of what the game is like, that would be a good thing to check out. Marvel Midnight Suns out now for Xbox and PlayStation, Xbox S and PlayStation 5. Xbox X and PlayStation 5. And if you've played Midnight Suns, let me know what your experience has been like so far. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Like and subscribe if you want to. If you feel like it, I also appreciate that a great deal. Stay super and heroic. <laughs> and until next time, I will see ya. Run, fools. Tell the wicked their lies shall be brought into the light. Nothing stops me! I'm raw power!